Hello friends, this video on understanding numbers part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 2. Shekhar is a famous cricket player. He has so far scored 6980, that is 6980 runs in test matches. He wishes to complete 10,000 runs. How many more runs does he need? So, till now, he has made 6980 runs and his target is to get 10,000 runs. So basically, how many more runs does he need? So you need to subtract these two. So therefore, how do you subtract? 10,000 minus 6980. So this would be 3,200. 3020. So 3020 more runs will be needed for Shekhar to reach his target. Question number three. Find the difference between the greatest and the least number that can be written using the digits 6, 2, 7, 4, 3. Now we have learned that if we have, if we are given a set of digits, so what is the greatest number that you can make out of those digits? The greatest number would be the one where these digits are arranged in decreasing order. That is, you write the largest digit and in the beginning and the smallest digit at the end. Sorry, the smallest digit would be 2. So the greatest number that you will be able to form is 76432. And the smallest number that can be made out of these digits is 234. 6, 7. So now if you have to find the difference between the greatest and the least number, how would you find the difference? So let us find the difference. So the difference would be 7, 6, 4, 3, 2 minus 2, 3, 4, 6, 7. So this would give you 5, 2, 9, 6, 5. So 5 lakh so this would be 52,965. So you had 76,432 minus 23,467 is equal to 52,965. Question number four. To stitch a shirt, two meters, 15 centimeters cloth is needed. Out of 40 meters cloth, how many shirts can be stitched and how much cloth will remain? Okay, so how much cloth do you need to stitch one shirt? So for one shirt, we need 2 meters 15 centimeters. Now let us convert this into one single unit. Let's say we convert the entire thing into centimeters. So how would you convert meter to centimeter? So basically when you, again, let's quickly recall the table that is millimeter, centimeter, decimeter, meter, decameter, hectometer and kilometer. So we want to convert meter to centimeter. So we are going up, therefore we will multiply and multiply by how many zeros? One, two, two steps, so two zeros. So we will multiply by 100. So two meters would mean two into 100 centimeter plus you have 15 centimeters. So this would be actually 200 plus 15 centimeters. That is 215 centimeters. So you need 215 centimeters to make or to stitch one shirt. So in one centimeter, you will be able to stitch one by 215 shirts. And therefore in 40 meters of cloth, now 40 meters means how many centimeters? That will again be 40 into 100 centimeters. That is 4,000 centimeters. So therefore in 4,000 centimeters, you will be able to stitch 1 by 215 into 4,000 shirts. So now you divide 4,000 by 215. So this would give you 1. The remainder would be 185. So you have a 0 here. So 215 into 8. That gives you 1720. So you have a reminder of 
130. So now you will have to forget this reminder. So what is the quotient? The quotient is 18. That means at least 18 shirts can be made. And after that 18 shirt, so total 18 shirts can be made. Now do you think that some amount of cloth will remain? Yes, it will remain and that is why you have this remainder. Now, it, had it been completely divisible, it compl in that case there would have been no remainder. So no remainder means no cloth will remain. So that entire amount of cloth will be needed for that particular number of shirts. But in this case you have this remainder which says that this much amount of cloth will also remain. Question number 5. A vessel has 4 liters and 500 milliliter of curd. In how many glasses, each of 25 ml capacity, can it be filled? So the total volume of curd that is there in the vessel is 4 liters 500 milliliter. So let us first convert it into one unit. So let's say we convert it into milliliters. Now one liter is equal to thousand milliliters. So if you want, you can recall it using the sequence of the units. So this would be 4000 plus 500 milliliter, which is equal to 4500, 0, 0, 4500 milliliters. Now the capacity of each glass is 25 milliliters. That means 25 milliliter is the capacity of one glass. So 4500 zero, that is 4500 milliliter would be the capacity of 4500 divided by 25 glasses. So let us divide 4500 by 25. So this would be 25. So the remainder will be 20. You have a zero here. So this would be eight. So this is you have a zero here, so you have a zero here and so the final reminder is zero. So basically 180 glasses. So in 180 glasses, this entire volume of curd can be filled. So with these problems, we see that uh, bigger numbers or bigger units are used in our day-to-day -day life. And that is why we, we are talking about handling larger numbers. That is why we are learning how to represent larger numbers, how to name them, how to do various operations on larger numbers. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.